In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Jamobi software and particularly the reliability analysis feature as well as correlations to discover reverse coding problems. Uh, when I'm working with my students, it's, it's uh, more common that I would like to see where one of the items in a measure that's supposed to be reverse coded is not reverse coded. They forget. Well, when that happens, it, uh, it can be difficult to reveal unless you actually go back to the original survey where it was and now begin to explore scores. But here is a very simple technique that can help anyone discover if you forgot to reverse code one of the items of a measure. The first thing where you, the first uh, analysis we're going to do is Chromebox Alpha. So we'll do this reliability analysis. And in this case, what I've done is I have eight items, eight questions, that we are going to run in a, a Chromebox Alpha reliability analysis. And we'll see that it's at 0 0.720, which is not, you know, that's within uh, an acceptable range. However, I like to click this button down here, Chromebox Alpha if item is dropped. And you will notice here that when you drop the first question, all of a sudden Chromebox Alpha score goes up to 0.879 you'll see that all of these are fairly well aligned, but not the first one. Something's going on with that. Well, we're not positive at this point that it's a reverse coding challenge. Maybe it's just in the design of the measure or something else. So we're going to explore this a little further using correlation matrix. Now, this time, what I'm going to do is include those eight items in a correlation matrix. And sure enough, let me see here. I'll just um, go like this. So it's a little easier to see you will see that all of these are correlated, but the first question, this first item, is negatively correlated. That right there demonstrates that that item was not reverse coded. We'll go back, we'll double check it to make sure, and sure enough, of course I, I created this data set so I know it is, uh, but sure enough, it was not reverse coded. So now once we go ahead and, and, and change that, then what will happen is that Chromebox Alpha level uh, will actually even be higher than 0.879 because we're going to do it the correct way, not just drop the question one, but we're going to score it the correct way. And uh, then we'll have our, our more than acceptable Chromebox Alpha score. Everything will be aligned like it's supposed to. And uh, we'll have a good data set. 